Hi guys, so welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge Marketing Mini Series. And today I am going to show you a direct mail postcard that I have recently used and I wanna show you guys how to make it in designs. So as we did with the last two videos, today we'll show you how to make it and then tomorrow we'll show you how to implement it. So my way of making any designs in command may be a little unconventional, but I do wanna show you exactly how I would go through this process. So here we go. So I'm gonna go click on designs and click on create design. I am looking to create a postcard, so I'm going to click print. Okay, so this is where it's unconventional. So you're thinking, okay, I wanna make a farming postcard. There is a specific area that I want to market to, tell them that um, there are um, the market's changing, neighborhood trends. And so I may want to go in here and look for that category, right? Um, do I want to go and find like the neighborhood snaps? You could definitely do that. I'm going to show you exactly what I do. So personally, the, um, let's see, the luxury section, I just love the colors that luxury uses. So I'm gonna go click on um, actually just sold. Again, these templates are, I always tell my agents, pick the template that's closest to what you're going for, whether it's fonts or colors, it's a better place to start than a blank slate. So I'm gonna go click this template and with anything with designs, because it takes a little bit more time, I do the cooking show method, which is I will go through how to do it. And then I'll also show you the finished product, right? So we're not going to wait 45 minutes for the chicken to cook kind of thing. So you're going, okay, how are you going to make a property or a, a marketing flyer off of this just sold card? So the first thing I'm going to do is go into KWLS and under snapshots, Think about the neighborhood that you're going to farm. Maybe you're going to farm multiple neighborhoods. So this is what I personally do. I'll go search a neighborhood. So there is a large planned unit development in South Jordan, Utah, where I live called Daybreak. So I'm going to go look that up. And when I go click on this, this is what I'm using it for great data that pulls from these. Um, Utah is a non-disclosure state, which means our sold price is not um, visible to the public. Um, because of that, I don't use these graphics as much because I don't like that NA. You could definitely cover it, but I like to use these maps just because I think they're great. It'll say the neighborhood, it'll show the boundaries. So what I might do is just start to go in and add these. So I want to add a few. So I am going to farm a specific area of Daybreak. I'm also going to farm a neighborhood called Harriman Hills. And I will tell you, usually when you guess um, what the neighborhood is called, it'll pull up. Um, I know sometimes you don't know the name of the neighborhood, but okay. So then I've got Harriman Hills. So I'll just add two to show you really quick. So now I'm just going to kind of position these on the postcard. If you drag in the corner, you'll see um, I can resize them. Maybe I want to make a little abstract, like one in the front, one in the back. That's a little bit smaller. Um, just play around with this. Don't be intimidated by it. You guys will learn it really quick. Um, but this, I can move those graphics and then I'm just gonna delete text box that I don't need. And then another thing is, let's say I want this text box, but it's sideways. If I just go click that, I can actually rotate it if I want. So that is an option. And I wanna rotate it so it's um, straight. So you get the idea. Okay, so now a little bit of the cooking show, I'm gonna show you finished product. And you'll see where it says pages two. There's two pages. The front page 
and the back page. Why I like this setup is because it already has the spot blank um, where if you send direct mail through command, it'll actually put the address right here. So it's already formatted to be command friendly. So again, I like the, the text. I like the layout. I'm just gonna go and start editing this, adding my logos, um, reformatting everything. So I'm gonna quickly show you. I'm gonna pull up one of the products, the finished product, so you guys can see an example. So I went in and added three neighborhoods. And you guys remember how I did that just through the KWLS? And then I just put the title, Know Your Neighborhood Trends. That stands out. These areas, if I'm farming these areas through direct mail or through door knocking, these will stand out. This will like pique my attention. And then on the second page, I've just gone in and it's specific to the resident, right? So I'm going to target the Harriman Hills neighborhood. And I just said, as a local expert, I'm consistently doing research on appreciation in the area. I do this to advise you on the best buys out there and to also give you an accurate market analysis should it be time to sell. Um, my clients receive a monthly neighborhood snapshot, which includes market data on your neighborhood. Um, and then it, it includes this specific area or this info. And I'm talking about the neighborhood nurture. Scan the QR code and click sign up to get the most up-to-date property info in your area. I went in and created a QR code. Um, I went in and um, added my info, my headshot, and I'm good to go. So the link that I did for my QR code was my app. So I'm trying to drive um, people to sign up for my app. The last thing that I would add on here is some call to action. I think it's great that they scan your QR code, but you also probably want to add something about um, if you're interested in buying or selling, give me a call, shoot me an email. I like to be um, a little bit more direct about that versus um, just leaving it up to, hey, you know to call me. Um, this is great for direct mail. I like to think about direct mail in mind and then also deliver um, to a neighborhood through door knocking. So try a couple of different ways. Um, but tomorrow we're going to show how to direct mail or send this through um, direct mail. And I hope I see you guys tomorrow.